Hi everyone, I'm Ella Kester and I'm a glacial geomorphologist. I'm Saurabh Karmakar and I'm doing igneous petrology. And today we're going to learn how to grow some crystals. Crystals take time to grow big and they usually grow on, under the cave. Sometimes crystals also grow under uh, ground as they cool slowly over time. And the slower crystal grows, the bigger they'll get. Okay, so today we're going to grow our own crystals. For this activity, you're going to need three cups of sugar. You're going to need a cup of boiling water, and you can do this with a tea kettle. You're going to need a pencil or a pen. You're going to need a glass jar, a string, and some food coloring. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your string and you're going to tie it around your pen or pencil. And then you're going to wet the bottom half of that string, and then you're going to roll it around in some sugar. And you can do this on a plate if you'd like. And you're going to let that dry overnight. And in the morning, you should have something that looks just like this. So the sugar crystals are attached to the string, and these are going to act as your nucleation points. And that's just something for the sugar crystals to actually grow onto. So you're going to add your sugar to your boiling water and stir it up to make sure all the crystals dissolve. All right, so we got all three cups of our sugar in here. Looks like we need to microwave our solution though because you want all of the sugar to dissolve. So what we're making right here is a super saturated solution and that just means that the sugar is going to want to come out of solution. So when we put our string in it, crystals will form. Okay, so make sure all the sugar crystal dissolves because if there is any sugar crystal left, that will act as a nucleation point and the sugar will start growing there only and you will get nothing in the string. Yeah, so our solution, we think we need to go microwave it for a little bit longer. So we're going to put it in our jar, our glass jar, take the lid off, and then go microwave it for a minute or two. Okay. Okay. I'm going to make sure we don't leave any sugar behind. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so, so we had to microwave our solution for a little bit longer, but do you see how now it's clear? That's exactly what you want. So if you don't have a microwave, it's actually easier to just do this on a stove in a pot of water and just constantly stir with heat. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna do, you're gonna add some food coloring. We're adding two to three drops. You want to stir that around because this will actually color your crystals. It's a good yellow color. Yeah, that's good. So now you're going to put your string that's coated in sugar into, into your jar. Uh, but you want to make sure the string doesn't touch the bottom. So I'm just going to double check that it, that it won't. Okay, so ours will. So we're actually going to cut some of the bottom off. Do you want to cut a little bit off there? But I think we need to. All right, so here we go. Ooh. Yeah, you can see it's not going down because it's not uh, it, the density of this sugar sugar solution is too high. So you should like to tie something heavy in the bottom, like a washer or maybe a screw yeah. or something. Okay, so now we've attached a washer to the end of our string, and now this should work. There we go. Okay, so now that we have our string in our solution, uh, you can put it aside and watch your crystal grow every day. You can also take a picture and then show to show your crystal growth from day one to day seven. So after about a week, you can remove your string and you can actually see that you've created rock candy. Okay, so let's recap what we've learned so far. Crystals like to grow underground and they cool slowly over the time. And the slower they cool, the bigger they are. And crystals aren't typically edible, but yours are because they made out of sugar.